For the first time, students representing Arizona's three universities are taking major steps right now to make sure every student has a place to live and something to eat. Jamie Warren joining us live from ASU this morning. And Jamie, you spoke with these students. I mean, they're really working overtime to make a big difference. And Nick and Kaylee, their passion here is evident. They put together this study. You can find it online after surveying students across all three universities, asking if they've faced food or housing insecurity. And unfortunately, their answers weren't surprising. We know people and we know friends who have experienced food and housing insecurity, um, who if they had the extra resources or if they had the help to be as successful as they know they could be, that they would be at, still at university or graduating. I spoke with Anthony Rusk and Nikhil Davide. Both have served as student regents with the Arizona Board of Regents, and they put together this first of its kind survey. And here are the results. At least one fourth of ASU students reporting that they had trouble buying their next meal. The numbers also reflecting the other universities, along with how many students had trouble affording their rent. And it's important to remember that these are more than just numbers. They are real people on college campuses. But the impact, I'm told, goes beyond the university because students struggling to make ends meet are more likely to drop out. We have a better economic system when we have more graduates, when we have more people attending university um, because, you know, for example, they typically go on, they have higher wage jobs. Um, and so it's better for the economics of the state. Um, it's better for the state as a whole. So this is now a starting point and the students are working to create a basic need committee on each campus that will check in frequently with the Board of Regents about their progress. And I would like to note there are food pantries on all of the university campuses, including here at ASU's downtown campus. But they tell me this really goes beyond that because it's making a cohesive plan within all of the universities and also just getting the word out that these resources are are available. Nick. Yeah, Jamie, it's a community a lot of people might not think would suffer from food insecurity, but what you're doing is shining a light on it and letting people know there are resources. Great job, Jamie. Oh,